Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. Hangar Studios 713 has reached out to the channel and asked if I would take a look at their Cam Air 480 Twin Navian for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I decided to purchase the add-on and review it here on the channel. So without further ado, let's get started. We will begin our review by taking a look at the aircraft visual elements followed by the aircraft features and finally we'll take it for a short flight around the airport area to put it to the test. The Cam Air 480 ships with a total of 13 high resolution liveries. Considering the Cam Air 480 Twin Navian is a 1950s aircraft, I believe the developer has done a fairly good job with the 3D model. The texturing of the aircraft is done to an acceptable standard in my view. Some parts are done better than others uh, as well as you can see the props here are done quite well. They look very good. The use of P-bar material is done quite nicely and some parts don't look as good as you can see here on the exhaust uh, coming out of the engine. The attachment of it, it looks a bit you know off and the textures are not as uh, not done as well as the rest of the aircraft but overall a very good effort by the developer with the 4k textures there and the 3d modeling considering the price point of the aircraft i believe the developer has done a very good job modeling the uh, 3d cockpit as you can see here, the beautiful gauges, the reflections and the panel work is uh, again indicative of an uh, older aircraft. Uh, everything is done really to a high standard uh, from the interior perspective of the uh, aircraft. Uh, you can see all the switches, the gauges, the flight yoke. You can see the rest of the texturing is not done as well as the uh, front panel of the aircraft, but nothing too serious in my view as this is something that you're probably not going to be taking a look at uh, during your flight. The rest of the cabin and the seats uh, are done to an acceptable standard in my view, giving the aircraft a rusty and old look. Hangar Studios 713 has included some nice features aboard this uh, twin Navian, including the uh, complete modeling and functioning of the circuit breakers, as you can see here. You can also fasten and unfasten the seat belt by clicking on this hot spot here. You can also toggle the static elements by clicking here. As you can see, we have the engine covers and the chocks placed. The 480 Twin Navian also integrates with the GNS 530 as well as the 750 GTN devices from TDS and PMS50.com. The time has come for us now to start this uh, Twin Navian from its cold and dark state and take it for a short flight around the area to put it to the test. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on the battery master switch. Nice sounds aboard the aircraft. Alternator 1 and 2 are both on. The mixture is on full rich, prop full forward. We're going to make sure the parking brake is set. We're going to begin with the left engine. Clear prop. And start the right engine. And we have a good start. And we're going to repeat the same for the left engine. And we have a good start again on the left engine. We're going to go ahead and turn on the avionics. The Twin Navian also ships with the KAP-140 autopilot device. And we are now ready to take this uh, aircraft for a short flight. Parking brake is released. I found controlling the aircraft on the ground to be very pleasant. If you are on a budget and looking for a fun twin engine general aviation aircraft, I think the twin Navian is uh, going to meet your expectations. Uh, it's a nice little aircraft. 
Not a study level aircraft by any stretch of the imagination, but nonetheless uh, offers good fun uh, in the sim. All right, we are approaching the runway. Landing lights are on, strobe lights are on. Flaps are set for departure. And we are cleared for takeoff. We are at runway 34, uh, ready for departure. The trim has been set, flaps are set. Let's give it full power. The sands are pretty standard, but they're not bad. And 80 knots rotate. Positive rate, gears going up. Flaps up. From the visual perspective, without a doubt, the aircraft looks pretty good. And uh, it flies kind of like all the other general aviation aircraft uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't see anything special uh, about its flight model. Uh, we are going to try to stall it in just a second here, uh, just to put it to the test. But overall, you know, great fun. Right, we're going to attempt to stall the aircraft. I'm going to idle the power, pitch the nose up. And there's your stall. Again, I cannot vouch for the accuracy of the stall behavior for this uh, Navian. But seems to do what other aircrafts do of the same type and performance. We're going to begin reducing our speed and begin the turn towards the airport. And the air runway is in sight, landing gear is coming down. First notch of flaps. Flaps full. Touchdown. All right, let's go ahead and exit the runway. All right, and we are back at the airport. Parking brake is set. Avionics off. Strobe navigation beacon lights are off. 
And we can now put the mixture on idle cutoff props or idle. And we can turn on the alternators off, master battery off. And we're back to the cold and dark state. You are able to also open the cargo doors by clicking on the cargo latch button here. My final conclusion on this Cam Air 480 Twin Navian by Hangar Studios 713 is that it is an aircraft developed to an acceptable standard with some nice 3D modeling and texturing overall. It could use some improvements. The aircraft sounds are pretty standard, but considering the price point of the aircraft, I believe it's good fun for someone on a budget looking for a general aviation twin engine to have fun with in this sim. This pretty much brings us to the conclusion of our short review of the Cam Air 480 Twin Navian by Hangar Studios 713. If you have any questions as usual, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye bye for now.